Hey guys, welcome to another very exciting video. Now, I released my very first Adobe After Effects tutorial back in 2012, which is six and a bit years ago. However, one fundamental question that I've never really directly addressed is, how do you learn Adobe After Effects? What is the best way to learn Adobe After Effects to go from absolute beginner all the way through to expert? Therefore, in this video, I want to share with you five tips five techniques that I think are absolutely fundamental for properly learning Adobe After Effects. Tip number one is to always learn at your skill level. All of my tutorials, at least all of the recent ones, usually have this difficulty meter box blended in or I used to have a difficulty meter, something that looked a little bit more like a speedometer and a few other variants. They're all there to tell you whether this is an absolute beginner, a beginner, an intermediate, upper intermediate, advanced or an expert level tutorial. And this is really important because building knowledge and learning Adobe After Effects or any other tool is like building a building. If you're starting with an intermediate topic or an advanced topic, but you don't actually have the basis, the foundation for building that knowledge on, it, it won't work. You're kind of constructing it top down and the whole thing is just going to collapse techniques that you see in tutorials for intermediate and advanced if you don't have the understanding of the basics they're not going to make sense to you and because they're not making sense your brain won't make those connections and you won't retain the knowledge you won't understand why you're doing what you're doing so if you're just starting with Adobe After Effects start with all of my beginner tutorials or the absolute beginner tutorials don't go into the intermediate and advanced stuff until you've gone through the basic stuff and I actually have playlists on my channel for beginner level tutorials for Adobe After Effects. Go and check that stuff out first. Once you're comfortable with all of the basics, then get into the intermediate stuff. Once you're comfortable with the intermediate stuff, then get into the advanced stuff. If you're not quite sure where you fall, if you're watching a tutorial for Adobe After Effects and you feel that you're understanding less than 50% of what is going on or maybe, you know, nothing at all, it's probably not a tutorial worth watching. You're probably going to waste your time. What you want is you want a video or a tutorial where you probably understand about 50% and then you have 50% of new stuff. And what's going to happen? Because you kind of have a bit of knowledge at the bottom. All of those new pieces that you're learning in the tutorial are going to connect up to this thing. Oh, that leads to that. Ooh, I can, you know, use this technique to achieve that effect. And so from the pieces that you already know, all of the new stuff is really going to connect in, it's going to glue together really well with that knowledge. And that is how you're building that knowledge from the ground up. And you're really going to understand why you're doing what you're doing. And that is going to enable you to really get the most use out of the tool. Also, if you are just getting started learning Adobe After Effects, a little bit of a shameless plug. I've literally like two weeks ago released a brand new four hour beginner course for Adobe After Effects on Udemy that you can check out. Now, the course isn't free, but if you are interested, I'm going to drop you a link as well as some discount codes down in the video description. So go and check that out. Obviously, Udemy also has really big sales every now and then. So, you know, just keep an eye out for those just in case you can, you know, snatch off a bargain. On top of that, I'm going to give away three free copies of the course. And for that, all you have to do, there will be a comment down below that I've left. And all you have to do is reply to that comment and tell me why you want to learn Adobe After Effects and what you're planning to do with it. Then in a week's time on the 13th of May, I'm just randomly going to pick three winners and you're just going to win the course for free. But again, do check it out. Links and everything is going to be in the video description. And it's just really for me to just say thank you. Tip number two for how to learn Adobe After Effects is to learn techniques rather than recipes. Now, when you're watching a tutorial, don't just blindly follow along and you know learn the button sequence of I need to press this button, then that button, then I need to set this value to 33.35, rotate this, go to this composition, name this layer, that. That is just the recipe for that particular effect, for that tutorial. And you can kind of connect that. It's similar to cooking, right? If you learn how to cook pasta, risotto, you know, maybe um, cha kwei chow or some other dishes, if you really just follow the pattern blindly without understanding why you're doing what you're doing, those are the only dishes that you can make. However, if you understand why you're adding salt to something or how long you need to boil something or what sauces you need to combine to get certain flavors, if you learn the techniques and the reasoning behind why you're doing what you're doing, that, that is going to unlock the power and give you the ability to create any effect that you want. Learn the techniques, learn the why you're doing what you're doing as opposed to just which button to press in which sequence because that's just memorization and it's very limiting. Whereas understanding the pieces and then being able to customize them and tweak them and change them, that, that is really going to open up your skill set and what you can do with Adobe After Effects. Tip number three is to imitate and experiment. 
And this can come in the form of either start following some tutorials that you see online, but then don't just leave it at that. Don't just follow the tutorial and say, yep, I now know how to create this effect. Go, well, okay, now I know how to create this effect, but what happens if I change all these things? What if I wanted to achieve something slightly different? Start asking what if or how to questions and try to figure those things out. A great way for doing that is start with a tutorial. You can follow that step by step if you're just getting started. But then try to create the same effect without the tutorial on the side. Just download the files and just try to create the same effect from your memory. Because you may not remember every single step, every button press, it's going to force you to figure out, but well, how do I do that? Or well, why did they use this certain effect? Or why did they pre-compose those layers? Or use that 3D camera tracker and then a mask and a mat and other things on top? So that sort of thing, it can really break you out of this bubble, out of this process of just following something step by step and open up this world of experimentation and trying different things out. And there's nothing wrong with just copying something that you see. Let's say you see a great effect in a movie. There's nothing wrong with just trying to literally replicate that because you essentially, imitation helps you figure out where do I want to go. It's like an initial step. And then from there, you start to experiment and customize it and make it your own. Someone who has a lot of skill in Adobe After Effects is someone who can just make After Effects do whatever they want to do. Where someone who has very little skill is essentially limited by what they've kind of already learned and they're limited by what they can do with After Effects rather than just being able to open After Effects to do whatever they needed to do. Tip number four is to simply have some tenacity and don't give up easily. Adobe After Effects is not an easy program to learn and it will take more than a couple of days. I've had people give up after a day of trying something and do make sure that you start off at the basics. Like start learning the basics first, then the intermediate stuff, then the advanced stuff. If you straight away jump into the advanced stuff, like you watched Avengers Infinity War and you want to create some effects out of that and then after half a day of, you know, clicking a few buttons and after effects, you're not quite there. It's, it's unrealistic to think things work that quickly, especially Hollywood movies. They have teams of professionals who've been doing it for decades. So spend some time, don't give up too easy and try to avoid this thinking of, I can't achieve effect X because I don't have Y. Like a lot of people say, hey, I can't create this effect because I don't have this plugin or I don't have the right computer or I don't have the right camera. I don't have the people, I don't have a green screen. Don't think I can't do this because I don't have Y. Think about how can I do this even though I don't have that? Because that thinking opens up, well, maybe I can work around all of these limitations. Maybe I can make something that looks pretty close to what I wanted. Even if I don't have people, a green screen, certain plugin effects, there are a lot of ways to really make cool stuff in Adobe After Effects, a lot of things to work around limitations and build on top of those things. So think in a very positive way, but you know, just give it time. Don't be impatient. Spend time on Adobe After Effects. And again, start from the bottom up. Otherwise you're going to get frustrated and give up easily. So tip number four is just don't give up easily. That is the only way to properly learn Adobe After Effects. My final tip should really go without saying, and that is simply to practice, practice, practice. And by that I mean actively practice. Try to create your own little film projects. You know, film something on your camera, on your mobile phone, or download video from the internet. The internet is full of video that you can just download and do whatever you want with. Try to put yourself in a movie, add explosions or sparks or motion graphics, animated text, anything, you know, make your own 2D cartoon. Try all of those things, even if you don't succeed you will learn something along the way. Even if you figure out, hey, this is where my skill limit is right now. These are the things I don't know yet. Well, you've just learned something. You learned what to do next to advance and learn more of Adobe After Effects. So experimentation, practicing is the key, the key to learning Adobe After Effects. Now, if you look at my YouTube channel, I have some really old videos where all I did was kind of just try things out. There's some really silly stuff on there that, you know, when I first started getting into Adobe After Effects and motion graphics and doing all of these things, but it was all about experimenting and practicing, just practicing all of these skills because just like, you know, going to the gym or learning cooking or learning piano or anything at all, it's the practice that brings you the skills and you will need a lot of practice and, well, tenacity to get to an expert level in Adobe After Effects. And that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more, just click these links over on the right hand side. If you want to support me in what I do on this channel, maybe get access to my private Discord server, be sure to check out my Patreon page. And as always, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I will see you later.